Fertility issues affect up to 15% of couples. The road to parenthood can sometimes be a huge challenge but know you're not alone in those challenges. Luckily, there are a few natural ways to increase your fertility. Food choices and lifestyle changes can help boost fertility. Hi, my name is Dan, and welcome to your Health Academy. If this is the first time you are visiting our channel, make hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to learn more about the facets of physical and mental health beauty diets and weight loss meditation and much more so in this video we gonna see 16 natural ways to boost fertility and get pregnant faster one eat foods rich in antioxidants antioxidants like folate and zinc may improve fertility for both men and women they deactivate the free radicals in your body, which can damage both sperm and egg cells. One 2012 study of young, adult men found that eating 75 grams of antioxidant-rich walnuts per day improved sperm quality. A study of 232 women showed that higher folate intake was associated with higher rates of implantation, clinical pregnancy, and live birth. The jury is still out on how much antioxidants will or won't affect fertility, but there's evidence pointing to the potential. Foods such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, and grains are packed full of beneficial antioxidants like vitamins C and E, folate, beta-carotene, and lutein. Eating more of these healthy foods shouldn't hurt in the effort. 2. Eat a bigger breakfast. Eating a substantial breakfast may help women with fertility problems. One study found that eating a larger breakfast may improve the hormonal effects of polycystic ovary syndrome PCOS, a major cause of infertility. For moderate weight women with PCOS, eating most of their calories at breakfast reduced insulin levels by 8% and testosterone levels by 50%. High levels of either can contribute to infertility. Also, by the end of the 12-week study, these women had ovulated more than women who ate a smaller breakfast and larger dinner, suggesting improved fertility. However, it's important to note that increasing the size of your breakfast without reducing the size of your evening meal is likely to lead to weight gain. Check out these ideas for healthy, delish breakfast options if you need some inspiration. 3. Avoid trans fats. Eating healthy fats every day is important for boosting fertility and overall health. However, trans fats are associated with an increased risk of ovulatory infertility, due to their negative effects on insulin sensitivity. Trans fats are commonly found in hydrogenated vegetable oils and are usually present in some margarine, fried foods, processed products, and baked goods. Some of the faves, we know. Studies have found that a diet higher in trans fats and lower in unsaturated fats was linked to infertility for both men and women. 4. Cut down on carbs if you have PCOS. Following a lower carb eating plan, where less than 45% of calories come from carbs, is generally recommended for women with PCOS. Several studies have indicated that managing carb intake provides beneficial effects on some aspects of PCOS. Lower carb diets may help you maintain a healthy weight, reduce insulin levels, and encourage fat loss, all while helping menstrual regularity. Here's a primer on how to eat fewer carbs healthily. 5. Eat fewer refined carbs. Speaking of carbs, it's not just the amount of important carbs, but also the type. Refined carbs may be especially problematic. Refined carbs include sugary foods and drinks and processed grains, including white pasta, bread, and rice. These carbs are absorbed very quickly, causing spikes in blood sugar and insulin levels. Refined carbs also have a high glycemic index GI. The GI tells you if a carbohydrate-dense food will raise your blood sugar significantly. Insulin is chemically similar to ovarian hormones. These hormones help our eggs mature. Consistently elevated insulin can cause the body to produce fewer reproductive hormones because it thinks it doesn't need it. This can contribute to a lack of egg maturation and ovulation. Given that PCOS is associated with high insulin levels, refined carbs can make it even worse. 6. Eat more fiber. Fiber helps your body get rid of excess hormones and keeps blood sugar balanced. Certain types of fiber can help remove excess estrogen by binding to it in the intestines. The excess estrogen is then removed from the body as a waste product. 
One older 2009 study associated soluble fiber, such as from avocados, sweet potatoes, oats, and fruits, with lower levels of estrogen and progesterone. Soluble fiber from fruit especially had the strongest association with lower concentrations of estrogen. Some examples of high-fiber foods are whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and beans. The daily recommended intake of fiber for women is 25 grams per day and 31 grams for men. One 2009 study found that eating 10 grams more cereal fiber per day was associated with a 44% lower risk of ovulatory infertility among women older than 32 years. However, the evidence on fiber is still mixed. Another study of 250 women aged 18 to 44 showed that increasing fiber by 5 grams per day decreased hormone concentrations with a higher probability of anovulation when ovulation doesn't take place. Check with your doctor on your current fiber intake to see if you should be eating more. 7. Swap protein sources. Replacing some animal proteins such as meat, fish, and eggs, with vegetable protein sources, such as beans, nuts, and seeds, is linked to a reduced risk of infertility. A study showed that when 5% of total calories came from vegetable protein instead of animal protein, the risk of ovulatory infertility decreased by more than 50%. A 2018 study concluded that eating more fish correlates to a higher probability of live birth following infertility treatment. Consider replacing some of the proteins in your diet with protein from vegetables, beans, lentils, nuts, and low mercury fish. Try this coconut chickpea curry for a protein-filled dinner. 8. Choose high-fat dairy. High intakes of low-fat dairy foods may increase the risk of infertility, whereas high-fat dairy foods may decrease it. One large study from 2007 looked at the effects of eating high-fat dairy more than once a day or less than once a week. It found that women who consumed one or more servings of high-fat dairy per day were 27% less likely to be infertile. To reap these potential benefits, try replacing one low-fat dairy serving per day with one high-fat dairy serving, such as a glass of whole milk or full-fat yogurt. This buffalo chicken dip made with full-fat Greek yogurt is divine. 9. Add in a multivitamin. If you take multivitamins, you may be less likely to experience ovulatory infertility. An estimated 20% of ovulatory infertility may be avoided if women consume three or more multivitamins per week. Micronutrients found in vitamins have essential roles in infertility. For women trying to get pregnant, a multivitamin containing folate may be especially beneficial. Have a chat with your doctor about supplements including any multivitamins that could help get you closer to pregnancy. 10. Get active. Exercise has many benefits for your health, including increased fertility. Increasing moderate physical activity has positive effects on fertility for women and men, especially those with obesity. The trick is that moderation is key. Excessive high-intensity exercise has been associated with decreased fertility in certain women. Excessive exercise may change the energy balance in the body and negatively affect your reproductive system. If you plan to increase your activity, add it gradually, and make sure your healthcare team is aware. See if your doctor is in favor of you adding this yoga poses to your routine. 11. Take time to relax. If you're trying to conceive, stress is probably on the menu, too. As your stress levels increase, your chances of getting pregnant decrease. This is likely due to the hormonal changes that occur when you feel stressed. Research on the links between stress and fertility is mixed, but there's evidence that stress can suppress fertility. Receiving support and counseling may reduce anxiety and depression levels, and increase your chances of becoming pregnant. And don't forget to take time for you. 12. Cut the caffeine. The association between caffeine and fertility isn't very conclusive. One older 1997 study suggests that women who consume more than 500 mg of caffeine daily take up to nine and a half months longer to get pregnant. However, other studies did not find a strong link between caffeine intake and an increased risk of infertility. Consider limiting your caffeine intake to one or two cups of coffee per day to be on the safe side. Give these non-coffee options a try. 13. Aim for a healthy weight. Weight is one of the most influential factors when it comes to fertility for men and women. Being either underweight or overweight is associated with increased infertility. 
This is because the amount of fat stored in your body influences menstrual function. Having obesity especially is associated with a lack of ovulation and menstrual irregularity but also with impaired egg development. To improve your chances of getting pregnant, work with your healthcare provider to try to lose weight if you're overweight, and gain weight if you're underweight. They can help you do it healthily and sustainably. 14. Check those iron levels. It's time to start pumping iron. The supplement kind, that is. Consuming iron supplements and non-heme iron, which comes from plant-based foods, may decrease the risk of ovulatory infertility. A recent 2019 study concluded that heme iron, from animal sources, had no effect on fertility and non-heme only had some benefit for women who already had iron deficiency. More evidence is needed to confirm whether iron supplements should be recommended to all women, especially if iron levels are already healthy. But making sure your iron levels are solid with your doctor is a good step. Non-heme iron sources are more difficult for your body to absorb, so try taking them with foods or drinks high in vitamin C to increase absorption. 15. Avoid excess alcohol. Alcohol consumption can negatively affect fertility. However, it's unclear how much alcohol is needed to cause this effect. One 2016 study found that having more than 14 alcoholic drinks per week was associated with a longer time to get pregnant. An older 2004 study involving 7,393 women found that high alcohol intake was associated with more infertility examinations. However, the evidence on moderate alcohol consumption is mixed. One older study found no link between moderate consumption and infertility, while other studies report that moderate intake can affect fertility. Ultimately, avoiding excessive consumption of alcohol is recommended. Talk to your doctor about your intake to ensure the best outcome for you. 16. Natural supplements. Certain natural supplements have been linked to increased fertility, especially in animal studies. Always check with your doctor before taking natural supplements as efficacy in humans has not been well studied. Examples include Maca. Maca comes from a plant grown in central Peru. Some animal studies found it improved fertility, but results from human studies are mixed. Some report improvements to sperm quality, while others find no effect. Bee pollen. Bee pollen has been linked to improved immunity, fertility, and overall nutrition. One animal study found that consuming bee pollen was linked to improved sperm quality and male fertility. However, human studies are still needed. Bee propolis, a study of women with endometriosis found that taking bee propolis twice a day resulted in a 40% greater chance of becoming pregnant after 9 months. More studies are needed. Royal jelly, royal jelly, which is also made by bees, is packed with amino acids, lipids, sugars, vitamins, fatty acids, iron, and calcium. Animal studies found it may improve reproductive health in rats. Conclusion. Good nutrition is vital for a healthy body and reproductive system and to help you become pregnant. Eating a nutritious diet and making positive lifestyle changes can help boost fertility and prepare your body for pregnancy. Plus, it's just helpful to you all around. If you're trying to get pregnant, it's important that you begin making healthy nutrition and lifestyle choices today. But don't let stress and worry get you down. Talk to your healthcare team to find the best choices for you. So, we have finished this video. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video informative and actionable. If you got some value out of it, don't forget to hit that like button and then subscribe for more videos. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video, bye.